This episode of Speakers of Pydland is made possible by our generous patrons. Special thanks to our supreme and master speakers, Circa Barakiel, Remy Asalia, Saray Cypher, Omage Cat Comet, Erisu Yamakawa, Arcadia Luna Shine, Dramavian, Nina Grimstarter, Casey Schaefer, Daimos, Lily Black, Hans Grenade, Sapa Chakwatol, Faris Gentoru, Cletus Oreo, Quick Levin, Luke Leonatrell, Stella Bell, Cirrus, Icy Lee, Lyria Rain, Pamela Isley, Umbral Wind, Naive Arano, Celeste Rasgris, Elenriel Maximus, Edwin, Bob CC, Fabs and Void Worm, Raimi Maverick, Codred No, Mira Miri, Winebow Brood, Bay Barbalay, Kaisa Regina, Uzora Akari, AJ Brainswordson, Suno Shikano, Yaoi Wowi, Chesha Saltiri, Gideon Ura, Buster Gearhold, and Nat Clay. Support the show and become a patron today at patreon.com slash speakersxiv. Thank you. This is Speakers of Life. Welcome to Speakers of Fightland, episode 222. I'm Lakeel Bravestone, and I'm joined today by Rollo Des and Georgi Whiston. Um, welcome. It is November 21st, 2020. Uh, we have big news. Patch uh, 5.4. Uh, the f Patch 5.4 website. I almost said Patch 5.4 is out. I was about to announce something that has not happened. Patch 5.4's website is up and we will of course look at that today and discuss um discuss discuss the details uh ishgard restoration uh, is over for most well the current step is uh done for most servers now so it's time to review the story we'll do that today as well so i guess spoilers for those who haven't done it but if you haven't done it <sighs> Too bad. We have waited long enough. Um, we'll also be reading Mogmail if we have time. Speakersxavier.com slash Mogmail. Odds are not in Mogmail's favor today, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, stay tuned for the post show. Questions from the Syndicate. Uh, we'll be reading questions from the Syndicate, but also premiering Secrets of a Realm. Uh, Secrets of a Realm. <laughs> so there's that as well to look forward to in the post show. Um, uh, oh, channel updates. Mm -hmm. oh. We were supposed to discuss. Okay, well, um, I can just remind you of the. I'm going to skip the first part, the first one there. Um, okay. Reminder about our poll. Thank you to everyone who's been, uh, or the survey even, um, the people that have. Um, uh, submitted their answers to the survey. Uh, quite a lot of people have done it, so thank you. Very we'll keep the, yes, we'll keep the survey running. Um, it will be linked in the description. Uh, if you still haven't done it, if you're watching on demand, is there a command? I thought we made one, or I thought I made one. Our I don't remember what it was. Maybe exclamation poll. Our oh. patrons, the syndicate. Yes, master and supreme. Oh, sorry. sorry, senior master go. and supreme speakers are the syndicate. Um, exclamation survey. Ex oh, exclamation survey to get the link to the survey. Um, Fill it out. Tell yes. Us some stuff. Yes. Right. Uh, let's talk about what we've done uh, this week in 14. Uh, I'll, uh, we'll start with Georgi. Oh, okay. Uh, very little. Um, I have done a little bit of dancer leveling on my Ragnarok character. I haven't really touched my main this week. Because it was on the Ragnarok character that I also did the Ishgard restoration. Because I didn't know the goblin had actually finished it by the time that I got around to doing it. Right. But they have. They've, they've surpassed my expectations. Nice. Um, okay. Uh, Rollo? Um, I have been in Bosger having a good time. <laughs> mm. uh, I'm getting a little burnt out on it. Less because of the actual content, 
more because I did it twice on two different characters. Because, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. like, like day, was it day two or three of Bajja, I was already at the caster. Online. Right. And then slowly plowing through <laughs> that on my main, and it's like, uh, like, I'm at, I've already, yeah, I did do caster. And now I'm just grinding out all the skills I all my I might need mm. might need some skills yeah I don't yeah. so I'm just collecting some stuff and also you know I metal up getting my my boxes mm-hmm. uh, also have you gotten the Gabriel out. mount yet I still have it why don't you just get it if you win the fight I don't mm. oh just get it Rolla you're cutting out oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. Is it because I'm quiet? Am I quiet again today? You're a little... No, no, I don't think so. Okay. You were just coming. Anyway, um, yeah, I just... I'm, I'm going to get back to Bosja probably some of this weekend. Some mm-hmm. more, do more of that. Uh, yeah, still good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Still what, what rank are you for both your characters? On my alt, I think it's... 15? 15? Something like that. And then on my main, I got to eleven. Okay. Um, and I've, I just, I just live in Bosnia now. <laughs> if you have anything to level past seventy-one, you just live in Bosnia. That's mm, it. Mm. It's your new home. Right. Okay. I haven't been in Bosnia for a while. I don't feel like I have anything to do there right now. I mean, yes, you could get another relic, I guess. But I have my whole outfit. Well, I guess it's what you said. You I guess upgrade it. Go get it to haste. Yeah, there's that. I you guess. know haste is going to be a vital part, I sh- most likely. I, I think I'm just bummed out because I have to do that to get that gear, but not f- the relic. Contact. It's just bizarre that the relic, for some reason, mm-hmm. was just done. And now I have to get this decent-looking gear, I guess, upgraded. It would be better like if it. I had a relic to do that with but yeah i don't know i'll guess i'll do it eventually but i have i have a lot of time before the next part comes out um i'm just worried that we have to be rank 15 to get into the whatever is coming next patch we probably will didn't wasn't that how they did it with eureka yes but like this is not the same thing because it's not a full field instance True. Oh, right. Oh, you mean the thing that's coming in 5.4? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Um, but yeah, the haste stuff will probably be useful in that content yeah. as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, I haven't done much uh, that I that's worth mentioning. Uh, it's been, been pretty routine. Uh, mm-hmm. Been doing your. We did do a little fashion form. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. M- your MGP. I'm very How's bad at. I'm very bad at MGP stuff. Not, I, e- not even Vermilion. <laughs> no, <laughs> I. I don't. It's an easy one. I don't do. No, 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 no. Lords of Vermilion is easy, but you are locked in <laughs> until it is done, and I hate oh, yeah. that. I can't do that's, anything. You just. That's mm. why you just have it all in the background. Yeah. You watch like a YouTube poop or something. I don't know. Yeah, a good old YouTube <laughs> poop. My boy. Uh, <laughs> um yeah, well, uh yeah, that, that routine week, uh, nothing to nothing to report. Uh let's jump into recent events. We did do some Palace of the Dead. We did do Palace of the oh. Dead. To uh, yes, yesterday. Um but that's about mm-hmm. it. All right, recent events. We'll start off with the fucking a fucking sale, I guess. <laughs> there's there's the sale um, on the Mog sta- sorry the Final Fantasy XIV online store. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. To this is perhaps the most depressing line I will ever have to read in this uh, this episode of Speaks of Hydlin. To commemorate the expansion of the free trial, the Final Fantasy XIV online store will be hosting the Heaven's Wardrobe sale 
starting Tuesday, November 17th at 12 a.m. PST. During the campaign period, sale items will be marked down 30%. I didn't notice this before. Heaven's Wardrobe, very underrated pun. <laughs> you can buy Sir Emmerich's attire, the Heaven's Ward, uh, the Heaven's Ward outfits, um, and that's it? Are the optional items they're on weapons. sale? Those are just new, right? They're weapons as well. Oh, they're weapons as well. Um, it's just something cursed about reading, like, to celebrate the free trial. Here's some microtransactions for you. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, new optional items, three new songs. It's the piano uh, versions uh, or piano covers of the Lim Salamin, Sagridania, and Ulda theme from the album with uh, Elidibus at the piano. Um Piano collections. Songs. Yeah. Uh, good songs. Now you can buy them for your uh, listening pleasure in-game. Although I will say listening pleasure in-game. Have you tried listening to like the jukebox in-game? Like the annoying, like you have to be like perfectly in front of it to like hear the song yeah. in both ears. Otherwise it'll be like a little bit in that ear. And then the stereo effect. Why isn't it just gold? Mm, yeah. Well, actually, can't you change that? If you change the listing position in game, can't you? Mm, you can. You can. Ooh, you Cause can. Because I know you said that. So, and I realized I've never had that problem because I've changed the listing yeah, position. Cause, yeah. Because I real I've known you've complained about this as well, but it's never been an issue for me. Wait, when did you change that? Like, what made you change it? Was it the jukebox? No, it was when right. hearing people around me. I didn't care. I didn't care for the stereo effect when I was outside. Of, oh, I like, like that. Like when doing gameplay. battles, because I'm blind. So if something's happening okay. like behind me, I can hear it. <laughs> I need that. Otherwise, I'll be even more shit. Uh, it's good. It's good to like wake me up when I'm astral projecting. I'm like, uh oh, something's happening. Um, all right. Sorry, Lakia. We're, we're talking about. We're thinking about Rollo's lips. Rollo, what have you done? <laughs> <laughs> Rollo has a blue tongue and a blue lip. What have you been drinking? A blue coconut slushy. I told you. I was oh, you doing told this from Sonic. You're right. You're right. <sighs> Why did you pick that on a stream day, Rollo? That is. I forgot. Anything blue I forgot. will stay in your mouth. That's just how it is. I just I forgot. Oh, I like, good lord. Ordering it, I was like, oh, I love blue coconut. <laughs> okay, well. Sorry to distract you guys. <laughs> some blue tinted teeth and lips. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, well, uh, the sale uh, is on on right now um, and will be available. Sorry, uh, the uh, the new items will be available. I mean, everything is okay. So the sale and the items are available now and will last until December 13th. The sale, the items will be forever, I assume. December 13th. Hmm. Is that <laughs> Is that indicating that maybe the the patch will be later? December 13th is a Sunday. It is a weird day. I think it might be unrelated because why would they do that mm. on a, I don't think patch day would be on a Sunday or well it could, could be on a Monday on the 14th maybe but no I think that's just random probably Yeah it is random it's just okay, a weird day to end Yeah it's a weird day to end the sale Yeah why st why start it on like a uh, reset day and then end it on a random day Maybe it's because the 18th is patch day and if they wanted it to be exactly 1 month they would have to and the sale on the seventeenth, which is the day before the patch, and then mm. I don't, I don't know how that makes any more sense. <laughs> I don't know. Random date. Uh, okay. Ishgard restoration. It is over. Uh, well, the current stage is over. Mm -hmm. In Congrats. most, most servers. Um. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about the story. Um. I'm just so we are clear i'm just just so we have all our bases covered here yeah. whoa Ooh, nice. we're, we're sounding this again mm -hmm. um 
So, uh, <laughs> with, uh, with that out of the way, um, Ishgard Restoration, the story. Where do we begin? Okay, well, it, first of all, we can talk about this, the, the finished area before we start talking mm -hmm. about the story. So there's the, the, whore. sorry, I keep, I keep calling it whorehouse, but it's hoary Ooh. holes, hoary, whore frost hole. whore frost holes. It's not hoary at all. <laughs> whore. No, no, nothing like <laughs> the boulder. Right, I right. Like a good whorehouse. You know? Yeah, it's the whorehouse. Um, and, uh, is that, so we're building like a new city state at this point <laughs> it is so intricate it has so many things now it is way more than a housing district ha this district has um we'll talk well, about it later but we there. we even like help set up an adventure skilled and shit so like we're there's this is a big how is this going to be a how uh, i guess if they ever make this a housing district they'll just make a copy and then remove like the mm, I suspect stuff. this instance will always exist, but that the housing district will just be a copy that is visually the same, but for people, yeah, or for players, yeah. Um, right. So the story. Uh, we start. We start with our our pal at the uh, the board. I cannot remember his name. The sky pirate. Ogbert. Yeah. Ogbert. Probably. Um. Um. He's congratulating us on the completion, and then how do we end up? How do we? Oh, they need. They want to to to, to get trade going in mm -hmm. in this the new markets. Yeah, in in that new because that's the commercial district we've just finished, and they would like some some new exotic wares to sell. Um, so we meet with uh, green. Sir Frenzel. Yeah. Frenzel. No, Rollo. Uh, <laughs> and he's like, you be the emissary. Because that's what we do. We're emissaries. Oh, he said, he said come, please accompany me. He, he, he yeah, yeah, seemed yeah. to suggest that he would try and do most of the work. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't really necessarily work out that way. No. Uh, well, w this introduces another character. I, I want to say Carlemagne, but that's not his actual name. His name is ch very close to that. Mm -hmm. That's I kept thinking that. Charl... Uh, fuck. He's the Count of House Durandere. Uh, what's his name? Save me. Man. Mr. Man. I, Charlemagne. 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 Okay. Um, but yes. until chat reminded us, I was just going to call him Count Durandere. Count Durander, that. that's easier. Yeah, Count, Count Durander. Um, uh, he's he's like, oh, I am big, important man. I will do the talking. Uh, and the he's, highest of the high houses. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and he's a little stuck in his ways, a uh, snobbish old uh, man. Um, and so uh, we don't... <laughs> You get the impression that um, he's not really wanted on this mission, but he's already decided. So mm. we go to Gridania um, because that's what they want. They want trade from the other city states into because they they mm. don't want to sell the same shit as the jeweled crozier in the upper yes. place. Um, so uh, we travel to Gridania. Um, and he's just on it. The Count just goes. He's like, you know, nice place, same people as us. I'll deal with this. Surely it'll <laughs> so be fine. He says it's a nice... Well, he says it's he a says nice it's a city. nice place. He says it's very dank, it's very which I thought dank. was a weird descriptor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was raining when it, I was there, so it made more sense. But, it, yeah, it's it was very... He didn't... The only positive, I guess, was that the, the people were the same. I really thought that Gridania was dank. I thought that was a very interesting way to describe the city state. <laughs> <laughs> got a very earthy mm. 
texture. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I have a feeling it smells like wet soil. Like it's huh. yeah. Um uh it doesn't go so well, I think. Right? The first one is Oh yeah, that's He talks to some random woman and then she's very unimpressed with him. <laughs> Yes, uh, because Gridanians don't like... They're kind of similar, I guess. They're... He's almost describing Ishgardians when he like talks to us about what Gridanians are like. They like to keep to themselves. Mm. Uh, I can I can relate. Uh, mm. So, yeah. Um, uh, they turn to us, I... right? To find someone to talk to. We go to the Leatherworkers Guild. I just forgot the step in between there. But I think yeah, well, he, he essentially he offends someone, and then Francel's like, "I have an idea. Let's right. go contact someone that actually might be interested in trade." So we go to the leather workers guild. Yes, yes, and lo and behold, we just so happened to meet someone who um, uh, was a well, I, well, I say a friend, but he was a not a soldier uh, under the command of Horchafont, I think. Yeah, I don't know if it's necessarily under the command. Yeah, he he worked alongside him at some point. Yeah, so he used to be a soldier, but uh, now he's a leather worker, um, mm -hmm. and he was he loved Horshafont, and then because of that, Horshafont treated all these people equally. Yes, um, and so they they have a little bonding moment, uh, and then uh, he asks, you know, can you help? And he's like, yeah, and he brings. <laughs> And he brings <laughs> a woman. <laughs> he <laughs> he brings. You remember her name? It rhymes with placenta. Magenta. Yeah. No. He he brings magenta. Uh... <laughs> my center. Um. No, my center. Hmm. <laughs> you know, Excuse me. <laughs> we're we're really good here at speakers at committing to the bit. I committed uh, a bit too much. I'm coming back. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yes, and she's like, yeah, I'll I'll um, I'll 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 do this, but what's in it for me? Uh, so you get mm -hmm. to choose. You know, why should she move? to um or set up shop in ishgard what did you pick i picked the one related to the band that she's in charge of mm, okay what did you pick Rolo? Do you i remember? couldn't i could not remember the other two options off the top of my head oh i just picked that their noble people are very loose with their that, money that's or what i did too yeah uh, mm -hmm. But I'm assuming both, all three of them would just lead to the same result. <laughs> we weird yes. if you. <laughs> she's like, no, she's okay. like, ah. you lost that one. <laughs> when you pick the band option, she's like, ah, you're aware of my talents. Yes. Okay. Um, right. Uh, so you get her on your team, uh, or on your team. You get her to to <laughs> the firmament. She she's gonna go find the shit she wants to sell, mm -hmm. and they leave. Yep. And it's kind of, it's weird. When did we, la have we ever, I was trying to remember when I did the quest. When was the last time we ever, have we ever met this count before? Count Durandare? No, I I don't recall ever meeting Count Durandare. Okay. Because it was weird because it was kind of like a character development quest line. And mm. it's a character we just met. <laughs> so it was kind <laughs> of... Strange, um, but yeah, it's surprising yeah. considering that he's supposed to have a big few with ha -ha men or house for tall, yeah, or whatever. That's true, mm, but yeah. it's like that's you don't ever see that. <laughs> <laughs> it feels as if House Durandare is the house we know the least about. Oh, yes, yes, it is. And they drop, I wish they dropped it sooner in the quest line, but okay, we'll get to it when we get to Ulda. Um, we travel to, <laughs> to Ulda. Um, we travel to um, uh, Ulda. Uh, nothing else happens mm -hmm. in Gridania, I think. We, we travel no, to we're Ulda. We're done in Gridania. Yeah. Um, um, Incel just tells him to humble himself. Stop calling him that. <laughs> it's easier to remember. 
uh, yeah, he, he, yeah, he's like, chill. And uh, we go to Ulda, um, and of course, the Count does not like the, w the warm weather. He doesn't like the fact that there's an underdressed Mikote dancing uh, in the Ruby Road Exchange. Um, he's uh, he's unaccustomed to uh, mm. seeing anything more than ankle. Right. <laughs> um, so um, he's like, y y I'll again, I'll go sort this out, lads. I am I'm a noble. I know how to deal with this. Um, you guys go have a drink or whatever, and mm. um, I'm call. I'm gonna call him Rollo. Why did you call him Incel? <laughs> Francel. Francel heads off to the quicksand. He heads off to the quicksand and he's like, please stop him. Uh, or, to, <laughs> or... <laughs> yeah. yeah, basically. Yeah. Um, and he's talking to John Lennon uh, outside, <laughs> you know, John Lennon in Ulda. Um, it, he's, it's the guy with the round glasses. If you start at Ulda, you meet him. He's the first character yeah. you talk to. Um, His name is Wymond. 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 I don't know. Ex I don't know exactly how it's pronounced. Yeah, um, and he's trying to convince him um, that he's that uh, about the deal. Um, but then in enter um, brother and small child. <laughs> We're so, Come on! You no, know, we should start putting names in notes. I think <laughs> they I have think that's um, they have annoying I French names. I can't remember. I should start putting names in notes. Yeah, the you names should. are Eminela, Eminelaine and Onora. Yeah, okay, Eminelaine and Onora. Um, they they come dressed in Uldan looking garbs. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they put John Lennon off. <laughs> well, they say. They, they basically they don't put him off. I you would say that I'm good at retelling. As you can, as you can no Emma doubt Elaine essentially says, um, "You don't know how to deal with these people." Right. And then don't. And he's like, "Wyman, don't hurt him. Mm. <laughs> and I'll provide you tasty rumors from the Holy See some other time." Right. Right. Um, so we meet up with them, and they're like, "Why didn't you tell us?" We meet up with the uh, the gang. Uh, what happens then? So after helping us, Mister is the tall one. Camera, his name. He's like <laughs> Eminem. Elaine. Eminem. Elaine, he's like, hey man. Uh, after he tells him to work with us and provide some juicy, juicy secrets, mm. he says, "Hey, tell Francel's sister." Hey. That's an <laughs> option. It is the, op option it is the option I picked, uh -huh. but still. I knew you would pick it, so I didn't pick it. I picked the other one. Uh, what happens when you pick that? He's like, oh, He's man, like, I was about to call him, uh, congratulate him, or uh, be impressed by how much of a good uh, worker or whatever he is, but I see he still... Mm. He hasn't changed. That's what he does uh, if you don't pick that. <clears throat> Um, well, he says that, but he's like, but I do question his motives. So, mm. <laughs> um, right. So, uh, this is where he drops the, the bomb that kind mm. of, I mean, I should have got, he kind of alludes to it, I guess, at the, when he's first introduced that he's like, a, like an alone old man. Mm -hmm. Um, but in Ulda, he... He essentially says that he lost his son at sea during a raid, um, and that there were rumors that he was rotting in a jail underneath the city, or or even walking around. Um, obviously, if if you've uh, if you've done the MSQ, <laughs> which obviously you should have, or even if you've played 1.0, you know that that has to be Carvalane from mm -hmm. from Limsa. Um, so that adds, so that made me excited. I, I was like, kind of like, mm, okay, this is a cute storyline, but now I'm like a little more invested because that's like yeah, an that's, old that's the moment time. where I was like, oh, yeah. okay, uh -huh. <laughs> pay attention. Yeah, yeah. So we travel to Limsa and he's like, he hates Limsa. Like he's, he says that Limsa, obviously, because he blames Limsa for 
taking his son, but also mm. uh, it is a pirate state technically, so um, not exactly in line with his his culture. Um, no. So uh, Francel offers to just have us go alone without him, probably secretly praying <laughs> that the count will just say okay, but he does not. Uh, so all three of us go to Limsa, um, and we go to Melvan's gate. I was surprised actually that, um, they, they don't like, <sighs> well, it is Limsa, so it makes sense, but Melvan's gate seems like such a professional, like, yeah. entity in Limsa that it's weird that they can't handle trade negotiations, that you have to go to each one of them. I guess I they made surprised. that just for the story's sake. I think yeah. lore-wise, that would probably just go through Melvan's Gate. But I was surprised that the Count Durandale was so unimpressed with Melvan's Gate. Yeah, I thought, Melvan's Gate is like a really professional, like uh, trade port. Yeah, it is. Yeah, uh, a fucking pirate city. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is very juxtaposed with its uh, history. But um, yes, so. Um, we go to the Sanguine sir Sirens uh, at the Missing Member. and Didn't know for the longest time it was called Missing Member. I just... I, I looked at the map and I was like, oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they go... Uh, they talk to the... Oh, the leader of the Sanguine Sirens. I should know her Roswin. name. Roswin. 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 Yes. Oh. And you also talk to the little Lullafell that's involved in the 50 to 60 uh, culinarian quest line. Truth, yeah. I did this on my alt. Does she acknowledge you at all? No. Well, she just... No. I think she was generic enough to, like, just seem like she knew who you were, I think. I don't think... She, didn't okay. pay any attention to it, yeah. Um... The um, yeah, so she she essentially just says no, uh, but there's a moment where she goes, wait, have I seen your face before? Um, and then she's like, you should pr you're probably better off talking to the the, the krakens, um, and so we do now. Obviously, we know that the leader of what is the full name of the krakens? Krakens arms. Krakens arms. Um, uh, that the leader of that crew is Carvalane. Um We go to their little base. There's where they sell shit, I guess. Um, <laughs> yeah. They sell. I never uh, realized that was their base. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I just either. thought it was like a little shop. <laughs> yeah, they sell herbs and fish. Is that what yeah. they sell? Weird. <laughs> very... mm -hmm. They sell mobile vines. Yes. Very convenient way of getting mobile vines. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the receptionist is like immediately like, no, 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 no trade with Ishgard or the Holy Sea. Uh, house Durin there. No, uh, <laughs> leave. She, <laughs> she calls the boss. No, sorry. The boss does not call. Like she has instructions to just never trade with, uh, the Holy Sea. Um, but Carvalane is just standing there. Uh, and so he calls her and it's like, okay, let me talk to just the adventurer. Um, and so we do, which is really weird because that's so th at that moment, Carvalane is just literally he's like within <laughs> mm -hmm. when I open the door, head. he can see <laughs> Carvalane. Yeah, I thought the exact <laughs> same thing. I was like, OK, <laughs> yeah, um, seen him since he was like 12. That's true. That's true. Um, so uh, we get a deal um with him very quickly he's just like okay fine well maybe this is the start of a new era for the holy see um mm. and he's he also he very, yeah go on i was just gonna say he very briefly considers going to see his father but he's like i don't want to give up everything i've worked for right yes because he said he like for the first time it kind of felt nostalgic seeing him instead of just loathing uh, so I thought, oh, this is it. This mm -hmm. is the moment. But it isn't the moment, unfortunately. Oh. We we go yeah. back. I do feel like this might just be the beginning of a new quest line further down the line. They're just teasing it yes. now. Um, because that would be very interesting. Um, so we go back. Uh, his, his siblings 
agreed us. Uh, the guy from the machinist place, the manufacturing or whatever. The, which is it? What's his name? I'm going to go with Marchoke. <laughs> <laughs> Stefan Nivian. Ah, yes, yes. Uh, his, the, the, the Porsche, uh, he's from the, he, is he in the, where's he from again? He's the Diadem guy. Diadem man with hat. Is that who he is? Because the middle one is the one I did not recognize. Yeah. Isn't that, is that not, is that not the Diadem man? I think it right? is the Diadem he man. Yes. He, he very well could be. It's just, he, of the three siblings, I did not recognize him at all. It's like, who are you? Yeah. Uh, and then his sister. Um... He just chills in the sea of clouds. Yeah. Right? She's yeah. in charge of, um, uh, what's it called? Camp Cloud Club. Let's call That's... her Maleficent. Lanayette. I actually don't really know how to pronounce her name. It's okay. something like that, though. Okay. Um... So uh, they all sort of offer their help and assistance in the restor in the f in the restorate no 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 in, not in the restoration well technically yes but in like re or uh, running the commercial district I guess or helping out mm -hmm. um, and old man is like oh I'm old uh, and this these people are young and they will guide me because we've fallen behind. They represent Yes, they represent the future. Yeah. I also thought it was that like he's sad because he doesn't have his children. That was kind of also in there, yeah. Um, so he's still young. He can make another family, sort of. It's not that young. The count? <laughs> he's at least like sixty-five, and that's pretty young for an Allison, right? That's, oh yeah, that's fair. Allison li could, live longer, but yeah, he could. I mean, he might not want to. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just make another. <laughs> yeah. Um, he probably doesn't even have to race them. He just can just get some servants to do it for yeah. him. So it's fine. Mm. Um, right. So um, that is sort of the end of that chapter of the restoration. Uh, but there are more. <laughs> uh, what did you think? Yeah. Quickly, what did you think of like the main scenario of this step of the restoration? Overall. Fine. I uh, nah. It was all right. It, I like the fact that we go and we leave the firmament to go to other places to set up. I mean, it's the usual like diplomatic relations. We have to establish diplomatic relations. Mm. We do it like every <laughs> every other patch. But um, no, it's all right. I, and I also I especially like it because of the Carvalin Carvalin link mm. now with the story. I enjoyed the development of Count Durandere because I was when this quest started. I was like, "Ah, we're I not knew, supposed to like this guy." I knew immediately when he was introduced that <laughs> this is going to be one of those. It's going to be one of those development arcs, and it is. So, but it's still it's a cute see. I, arc. I was I was I was off guard for that. I I didn't expect it, so I liked it. Mm -hmm. uh, we went so long in this card restoration without them pulling out the harsh font card. Mm. That's true. Really? I mean, anything that has to do with Francel has always had, got a little bit of attachment to Porsche Horn. I know. But I was like, I was, I was wondering when they were going to be like. <laughs> you, Rollo. <laughs> Poor Horse Chiffon. I mean, it makes sense that they bring up Horse Chiffon every now and then. It again. makes sense. But like I said, I was just like, all right, it's an Ishgard thing. Mm. It's I went just do it already. Yeah, and yeah. Get it over with. Yeah. Um, How would you feel if we if if the firmament ends up with a statue of Horse of Mont Rollo? That'd be funny. That'd be funny <laughs> as fuck. I I don't know about that one. Oh, and it's gonna be so <laughs> cheesy because he's gonna hold the shield and it's gonna have the hole in it. And it's gonna... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, I'd love that. Is he gonna be like holding hands with like the crafter man, whoever? Yeah. Whoever oh, yeah. Oh, united. Oh. Oh, no, he's gonna be doing the stupid fucking. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, make it happen. Uh, okay, right. Mm. So next part, um, surprising. 
Um, but something we've been waiting for as well is the, the outcome mm -hmm. of this quest. Um, but essentially, it's the Count again wanting to do good for mm -hmm. the people. Um, so he's calling... Um, oh, no, I know his name. Drill, Drillmon. Drill... Yes. It sounds like a Digimon. But it's something Drill. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's Drillmon. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, we meet up with him. Uh, that's the guy from... Um, where's Trillamont? I love this. This is such a fun game. It's like a memory <laughs> test. Much. It's a white brim. Yeah. White brim. <laughs> that's where he's from. Um, it's so. This is like ancient uh, history <laughs> for me now. Mm. So, um, yes. So he wants to do something good for the people, and he uh, he essentially commits like a lot of resources and even his airships to uh help restore um mm -hmm. the the broom broom <laughs> the broom are you gonna say the broom? I, I almost it's, said the it, burn for some reason I think, <laughs> I think it also isn't just the restoring the broom it's also just um like c contributing to making the trade between the city states easier yes yes, yes. Yeah. Um, so we, uh, he tells us to go, um, talk to a guy in the broom, an Ellison, uh, who helped us, or we helped them, uh, retake he was... Stone Vigil? Yes, for Stone Vigil hard mode. He is the one, he is, he was the captain of the airship that dropped us off inside Stone Vigil. Right. Memorable character. Yes. <laughs> I don't think he was a character before this. <laughs> no, he was not. Uh, and so we um, uh, we tell him that he, we want him to come with us to for a new on a new project uh, for the new for new training grounds. Isn't that what it is? Like a training place? No, he's he's more so just like a train. He's going to train future machinists. Oh, machinists is what it was. Yeah. Um, so we bring him to a part of the broom and we are met by the count, two counts, uh, mm. uh, count, uh, Durandere and Edmond. Mm -hmm. Um, it just made me realize how unique Edmond's face is because <laughs> he is has a unique, unique. face. That is mm. not a faceplate you see anywhere else. Um, and uh, yeah, that's good. And Edmont is in on it as well. He, he's going to help because technically Edmont has retired. He's technically not in charge of the house anymore. I was actually, as, as I was doing this quest, I was very annoyed. I was like, why is he here? He's mm. not the head of... <laughs> Of House Fortant anymore, and he immediately says, uh, "You should probably be talking to my son." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He starts rubbing his face. He's like, "I know we've been having our differences." <laughs> yeah. Let's build a wall and <laughs> fix the wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's <laughs> put up a little shopping crate. Center. Interesting phrasing, but yeah. Weird phrasing, <laughs> but yes. That was a mistake. <laughs> I'm traumatized. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> um yes so yeah it's all good the the broom gets a permanent change now after this mm -hmm. quest so there's more restoration happening in the broom it says that the broom restoration has just begun yes. so it's possible that we will see further development and hopefully they will get rid of all that rubble but i am worried that they will not because that is part of the physical model that's of the city state that's what i checked immediately was to run towards mm -hmm. the rubble and getting stuck on it i'm like there's no way <laughs> there's no way they're facing this. like a like a they really could... low table maybe <laughs> they could <laughs> they could or set up a like... statue there maybe, I mean, maybe. On top of it. yeah uh, or they could just remove it from the model for everyone and just make the rubble like yes that walk through thing that we have for decorations i would love I would love that if they just removed the, like, actually physically altered the model of yeah. the foundation. Yeah. 
Um, Were the dudes always picking at the rubble? Or did I dream that? I don't know. I That's what I wondered actually. as well, Rollo. Yeah. I was like, Were they always I... doing that? No, wait. I think there was a dude always lifting rubble. Yes. That's the no, that's at the entrance though. See, yeah, see, because there's always been some work happening around the broom, so it's hard to mm -hmm. tell With exactly no what. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they've been doing that for like four years. So, um, yeah, well, that that's cool. It's cool to see Ishgard finally, maybe one day, looking uh, pristine, which makes sense. The war is over, and they can actually mm -hmm. rebuild properly, not just a housing district. Um, we uh, return back, and this will... Well, that is the end of the quest. Um, yes. It's kind of weird how the quest ends outside of the firmament, because if mm. you don't go back, you wouldn't know that three new quests just opened up. Um, so there are three new quests, uh, all three related to characters you've dealt with. Bef no, actually, only one of them. No, two of them. Well, one of them indirectly deals with people you have... Yes. talked to before but the first the adventurer's one guild quest is the one that's not yeah. really directly related yeah um the um, first one is the children from rollenberry fields orphanage Ooh, okay let's have a fun game okay um i don't know any of I their put, names no you know, i put their names no. in the document no idea try and pronounce them oh, oh you did okay i can go no i didn't expect you to remember them that's far too impossible lisselle Good job. Oh my god, there's no... It's like, I know why I don't remember them, because my brain will go, okay, we're not storing that name right now. <laughs> that is too much information. I think uh, the French need to be stopped. Jolchizane. Okay. That's not how okay, it's pronounced. Rollo, you, it's French. You, so. you try the second one, Rollo. Jolchizane. Mm. No, 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 Jol the one after that. That's the oh. one. Oh, oh. Parakeel? Good. Yeah, that's that's correct. Well, that is straightforward. I I had to put both of these into Google Translate and hear what that said because I had no Zane. idea. Did. George... It's Jules Chazan. Jules Chazan. Of course, it's an ah. Uh... Mm, but yeah, but okay. yeah, these fucking children. Why do they have horrible names? Uh, they have horrible names because they're orphan. That's why. Um, so, uh, another wacky adventure for the, the orphans, uh, they decide to go to the newly constructed, uh, international market, uh, with, uh, <laughs> <laughs> with goods from Limsa, Ulda, and Gridania, and they, uh, meet two, um, upper class children, uh, who, mm -hmm. uh, they've got some pocket money from their, their, their mother, um, and they want to buy a specific fruit. However, they are short on cash. They don't have enough for that specific fruit. They can buy anything else, but they want that one fruit. So the orphans are like, why don't you just work for it, you lazy <laughs> shit? And then they're yeah. like, ugh. Uh, <laughs> so, they no, that's, no, sorry. I'll they're pretty <laughs> eager. They're like, they're more like, we don't know how to work. I, I wanted it's to build this narrative of them being like shitty. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like that's what I was thinking it was gonna yeah. go. Was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, like okay, they're gonna work. <laughs> <They're going>, <laughs> what's <laughs> that? <laughs> what is that? And then it leads to a revolution that, and they they just fucking kill all of them. Uh, no. Lovely Miz. <laughs> um. Anyways, yes, they're like, okay, sure, let's do that. Uh. Uh. And then a man just overhears that. In any other situation, or actually, if this happened in real life. I would be very worried for those children. Yes. <laughs> He's like, mm, you want money, do you? <laughs> I need a coat. Um, and he asks them to like find, to make or get hold of a coat for him or make one. It is, it is a man that we know. It is a man that we know from... The safe man. Yes. He's... Feather footfalls? Yes. Something? Tail feather. Tail feather. Tail feather. Um, uh, he, uh, yeah, so he, he needs, uh, um, uh, he needs new clothes. He needs warmer clothing. So mm -hmm. the kids are on it. Uh, it's a very short quest. Uh, mm -hmm. all you really have to do is you just go to the, that guy with the. Ackard. Ackard. Yeah. 
and you get to pick between thick pelt or sturdy cloth, I think. I pick I think I picked sturdy cloth. Think I picked pelt? I, I, was, I don't think there's I don't think there's any difference. There's no yeah, difference. I, was, uh, I think ordering. I think you get the same thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. you end up helping the children craft a rebel coat and I was like, Where's my rebel coat? <laughs> yeah. Um then that's the end of that quest, essentially. Oh, no, he's like, do you want a baby chocobo, by the way? Um, oh, they I'll give the money to on the... That one. Well, actually, they give the money to the kids. And the kids are like, ooh, mm -hmm. nice. And then they give back, because here's your share. And it's essentially almost all the money back. Mm -hmm. Because they really just needed that little extra for the fruit. Mm -hmm. So, th that's cute. Uh, nobles aren't ho that horrible. At least in Ishgard. I mean, they're not throwing hot pennies we've... at them. <laughs> I feel like this is a long established uh, yeah, trend yeah, in Ishgard, it is. considering it is nobles that led us into the city. That's true. That's true. Um, but they did make that a point in the quest to make it like, ah, yes. see, they gave them all the money back almost. They only mm -hmm. took what they needed. Um, uh, he's like, you want a baby, baby chocobo? And then that's the end of the quest. They get a baby chocobo. Mm -hmm. So next time we talk yeah, with them, like, we're probably going to have some You don't have quests. a mother. Oh, yeah. You don't have a mother. You want to but... be a mom? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <Or baby chocobo. laughs> that was the lead up for it. Yeah, because she's like, I'm going home to mommy. And then they're like, I wonder what it's like to have a mommy. And then <laughs> he's like, you want to be a mommy? <laughs> 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 Which... Hmm. That's not gonna help you at all. <laughs> In fact, it's a little bit of a burden. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so that's the end of that quest. Next quest is uh, the. I guess we'll take the the bird, not the bird. <laughs> we'll take the, the gaily cat one. The gaily cat quest. Um, so cats are gaily cats are uh, running amok in. The firmament, or at least that's the impression mm. you're being given by um, this guard. He's not named, right? It's just guard. Do you know guard? I th yeah, I don't think he has a name. No. Uh, and so you're you're helping. Um, you're gonna help catch and some gaily cats. Yeah, and he's like, oh, they're they're void scent. Yeah, dangerous. I have long contested this and it is contested among scholars in universe as well that gaelic cat avoid scent i refuse to believe that gaelic cat avoid scent yeah I, I i don't see it at all no it's very strange uh you uh you hide behind you put it down a you know the usual uh generic quest bag uh, and hide behind. <laughs> I love putting down quest bags. <laughs> and then you hide, you lie in wait to see if a gaily cat will go in. Go, just go into the bag, I guess. Um, I love it. <laughs> it's not the first time we've caught a gaily cat in the bag. That's true. They love bags. Uh, it's kind of like real life cats and like cardboard boxes, I guess. They in Aorcia mm -hmm. they like bags. Um, so uh, a gaily cat appears, and then. Someone else appears. It's uh, it's that Neko uh, boy that we've met in. Uh, was that New Year's? When? It was. It was. An, it was a Heaven's Turn event. Heaven's I turn. believe it was the year of the rat, but I cannot remember when the year of the yeah. rat was. Yeah, it was last year, wasn't it? it? Was last year probably. Yeah, because it's. Or is this the year of the rat? Well, if this is the year of the rat, then that's. This year. Oh, it's this year. Yeah, it would have been this year then. Was it this year? I mean, the year of the rats, twenty twenty. Yeah. Wow. It feels like forever ago since we saw him. <laughs> but, okay. Uh, yes. Oh God, remember when it was the year of the cock and they just kept doing cock jokes? Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm, happened, mm -hmm. by the way. Like we've forgotten. I feel like we've all forgotten that, but they did that and they talked about like large, like big cock. Mm. Weird. That's what I expect. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not surprised about that in this game. <laughs> That's true, but it's very strange. Uh, anyways, um, he shows up and he's like, "Oh, I love cat. I love yeah. I love cats." <laughs> Uh, and <laughs> essentially that, and he's like, "Oh, I want to cuddle them," and he and he tries to like get the gaily cat to come, like, "I want to touch the cat now," and the cat just flies away. 
Well, he hisses at him and then runs away. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he's like, we have to follow them. Uh, and so we we run behind um, that building, the house of mm-hmm. whatever it's called. The whorehouse. The, wh- the whorehouse. Uh, and there's, um, there's a guy there. Should I remember that guy? That's just... He's the guy who was dealing with Gala Cats before, but you don't necessarily need to remember his name. Okay. Um, and there's three Gaily cats there, and mm. he's been feeding one of them, and I guess they just, it's just more people, they just called some friends over. Um, mm-hmm. um, and they're like, please be nice to Gaily cat. Gaily cats are cute and cuddly. Mm-hmm. Don't want to hurt anybody. Just no. feed them and they'll let you pet them. For oh, yeah. Time. Also, he also adds like a lore reason, by the way, before when we meet the cat man is uh, he's the one who's put on. Is he the one who put on their clothing? Because I got very confused by what he was saying because we were like, how? Because like they're wearing clothing. Oh, is it the guy mm-hmm. behind the whorehouse that has put it on? Well, he was saying that like with regular gaily cats, that's just like they're part of their body. Mm hmm. Can- but like with, the, I believe the weatherproof gaily cats are like coats that he made for them. Yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that's what it was. It was very confusing in the story, um, and so essentially, it's like, okay, I'll, I guess I'll let them be. Uh, mm-hmm. and the guard, yeah, he's yeah. like, the cast trouble if, 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 Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, he does threaten them. Yeah, and then the two cat cat uh, obsessed people. Uh, the one that's been taking care of him gives one to the the cat man. Doesn't he say that it's not clothing and anyone who ever tried to take it off got scratched? Is that what I thought that said? was related? I thought that was related to normal gala cats. It yeah, that's what I both thought. Of them. They said both are body parts. Okay, it was just confusingly explained in the story, I guess. Okay, mm-hmm. so yeah, cat man gets a cat. Um, the end. Next. You get asked if you're a da- cat or a dog person, which I thought is a weird question from Makoto. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, did anyone pick... Did you say... Did you, what did you pick, Rolo? I picked cat. Yeah, I, I did too. Can't lie. I'm sorry. It, it'd be very awkward if I picked dog there. Uh, but I wish someone did, <laughs> so we knew what they said. <laughs> um, we'll pick it next week and then we'll talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you pick cat, if you haven't, if you're watching and you didn't pick cat, they they just go, we all agree or whatever. They're like, we're in agreement yeah, or something. Like, yeah. 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 Um. Okay. Um. Last quest is a. Sh- it's short, but it's interesting, because I mentioned earlier that we're like, okay, now we have a market with like flags from the three city states. Uh, mm-hmm. And now, in this quest, we meet up with an old man whose name is... No idea. Fart. And he has a house, a large mansion. And Mm -hmm. he wants it to become an adventure skill. And he needs your help to uh, attract adventurers to the guild, because otherwise... It won't be an adventure skill. What is an adventure skill without adventures? So um, he asks you what he needs to have in his adventure skill. What did you pick? You know what I picked. Did you pick the tavern? What are the... Yeah, okay. Oh, of course you did. I picked the one where it's where adventurers go to help each other. I think we all picked three different things. Because I think I picked the one where you put up postings or for help or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, well, uh, gee, I wish I remembered <laughs> what his response <laughs> was. I think it just, I think it's pretty generic, a pretty generic answer. Yeah, it was, it was a pretty generic answer. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I, I thought that, I mean, I was like, oh no, after I'd picked it, I'm like, oh no, is he going to make an adventure guild without a tavern? <laughs> 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 it's going to be, it's going to be a flop. Um, so he just uh, then tells you to go pick or uh, tell people about the adventure skill to fill it up, and you do. And in this one, the last of the three, I guess, is the 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 crew of adventurers you've met before in the previous yeah. uh, chapter. The steps of faith, peeps. Yes, who were definitely there. At steps of faith. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think they're wearing the right gear, by the way. 
Like, would that be patch appropriate gear from Steps of Faith came? I don't think they're wearing the same gear they wore back then. No. No, no, no. I mean, they're adventurers, so they would change their gear around, okay. I guess. Um, the, the sad thing about this quest is that when you're done, there's... You can't enter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, but I, I want to see. Hoping, <laughs> yeah. Maybe the, the next restoration. Uh, yeah. Uh, why? Yeah. Why? Um, yeah, I guess we'll see next time. Maybe. I hope. Um, and that's that. That's the end of the Firmament story for now. Um, pretty decent. Mm-hmm. A lot it's about what I expected. expected. Yeah, uh, you. So you expect it's more. <laughs> I always. I'm surprised by how much content there is every time because I. You finish this long main quest and then there's three yeah. more. I mean, sure, mm -hmm. the Adventurers Guild one was just talk to three people and come back. <laughs> I mean that that wasn't much of a quest at all. But um, yeah, it was it was all right. It's, it's good content. Um, yeah. And it's content for people that didn't necessarily. You don't have to do the crafting stuff. You just you can just show no. up when it's done and do the story quest if that's what you want. Um, right, that's um, that's Ishgard restoration. Um, and come no back for in another three months for more. Yes, it'll okay. actually be done, and oh, mm. maybe they'll fix something. Yeah. Uh, okay. Right. So, um, moving on um, to patch 5.4. Oh. The website is out. Yes. <sighs> and it has some interesting stuff for us. Um, let's let's just go into the website and we'll uh, we'll uh, have a look. Unfortunately, our cameras will not be visible here. That's uh, fine. Because um, there's a problem. Uh, Discord decided to, to change the order of our frames. And so, um, mm. yeah. Uh, right. So, uh, before we can go any further, mm -hmm. we have to acknowledge the patch chart. It's very sweet. Mm, it's very cute. Yes. La Habrea's there for some. Yeah, reason. there's a lot in here. Um, well, if... let's talk about the, the obvious thing first before we go into La Habra. Mm. Um, Gaia and um, Reen are holding hands. Mm. That's all that there should have been that we had to say about this. <laughs> Uh, In fact, we didn't. We shouldn't have had to acknowledge it. We shouldn't even have it, had to apparently. acknowledge it at all. No. Mm. But here we are. Um, there's a lot of people are reading a lot of different things. Like there's a lot of things coming out of this patch art that I don't fully understand. Um, I understand it fully. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, some people. I don't know. Are you aware of the controversy around the, the con surrounding this, Rollo? Is there a controversy? What happened? Oh, Who said what? Rollo, now? you know what? what the controversy will be. I can imagine what it is, but I'd be very upset if people are upset about people, that. Some people are upset. On I would say men. There's. I don't even want to get into that actually, but I just wanted <laughs> us to acknowledge that th it's stupid. Just it is dumb. Don't we have other things to deal with? Don't fucking this isn't anything to get fired up about. They're they're, sh they're just holding hands. Mm. Leave it. Whether they're friends or else, they end up being something more. It doesn't matter. No, and don't expect, like, just be c calm. Let the patch play out. Don't put mm. more meaning into it as well. Both this. A, a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of people that are very angry on uh, online on the internet about can, this. I'm conf are the people upset that they're that they're, hold that they're holding hands because people, people put more upset? meaning into it. So they're like they're holding hands. Therefore, uh, they will they will fuck on on <laughs> on in the quest. There will be an actual scene of sex in in the game. I'd 
I don't know if I want to see this. They're like teenagers. Yeah, I, exactly. I it's so stupid. <laughs> Chill, everyone. Um, right. Uh, there's a, a more important thing uh, to point out in this. Okay, that's the end of that. I, d I don't, I don't mm -hmm. care. Uh, well, actually, this patch art is slightly... Uh, uh, there we go. Why are you doing is... your Markiplier voice? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Annoyingly, it's not visible in the top version of Fuck. the artwork. You need to go to the expanded version. I like this. This is fun. Keep doing that. Yeah, I should... Uh... Just open the image in a new tab. Yeah, I did. Uh... <coughs> oh, it opened in a new wind. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, lop, lop, lop. Uh, let's see. Uh, we are almost there. Uh, well, anything to add to the controversy? No, it's uh, dumb. I don't want to really talk about it, but I understand that you want me to talk about it because <laughs> it, you want me to fill air. But <laughs> I think people should draw more art of them holding hands. Mm. If they feel like it. Mm -hmm. mm. That'd be okay. Yeah. Uh, I enjoy that content. Okay, well, oops. Why did you disagree? Why did you go away? Okay, so uh, in the artwork. Where did it go? There it is. <laughs> right. So uh, there's some. So obviously, this is uh, the Eden Raid uh, artwork. Well, it's technically. Yes. Well, it's the patch artwork, but this is for the Eden Raid. Um, there is La Habrea in there. <laughs> Unmistakably, La Habrea on Gaia's mm. side. So I wonder if it's either implying, I mean, g I'm happy if we're getting more La Habrea story. It's just a little random that he's in this, this story, but maybe it isn't. Maybe he's involved somehow with what happened to, to Gaia. Was he the one that was in the void again? I can't remember. No, huh? he didn't fuck up the void, right? Oh, no, that was no. Iggy yeah, 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 that was Iggy Yeah. <coughs> But Sorry. maybe, maybe we'll get some sort of echo flashback to Igiom and La Habrea together because that was the, their connection to the void. Yeah. 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 So, or, or maybe he's just part of the MSQ and they just had to put the MSQ in there somehow. Mm -hmm. I don't normally think that they combine MSQ and like uh, raid artwork together. It'd be very confusing. They don't really. Well, they do. They sometimes. I mean, we know that this is going to mix in with the MSQ somehow. They've already said that. But, mm -hmm. uh, and the last time they did... Well, they've done it with Nier as well. Nier had nothing to do with the MSQ. But they did it with um, Return to Evil East patches as well. So, and that technically tied into the MSQ. I mean, That's true. I wonder if La Habrea is going to be the link to the MSQ. Mm -hmm. um, that he, that somehow that's what they're referring to when they said that there were there was going to be a closer connection to the MSQ going forward. Um, there's just some uh, reflective things in the background with uh, well they're not reflective they look more like pictures uh, of mm. them. Um, we have a uh, guy with a I guess a headache. Yeah. Top right. Yeah. Yeah. The fairy's talking to her again. Mm -hmm. What's the top left thing supposed to be? The one next to Reen's face. Oh yeah. 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 I'm not. Mm. I'm not quite sure. I can't Are quite identify. Timelines. I hope not. I, mm. I think we got to fuck with time some more. I think. No. Well, it's called, mirrors... it's called futures rewritten. So the time is definitely the the theme of the patch. But I hope it's exclusively in the MSQ. I don't want to deal with more than one time traveling <laughs> storyline. Yeah. Very nice art, by the way. I think this is probably one of my more favorite art uh, patch artworks. Yeah, it's very nice. I would agree. Yeah. Um, well, there you have it. That's the artwork. Um, while it is nice, it has less to talk about. Other than the stupid shit people say on on, on Twitter, <laughs> mm. um, the problem is the Laha Brain stuff is very out of nowhere. So yeah. there's little to it's difficult to speculate on. Yeah. What do you know? What the patch name is in Japanese? 
you want me to read the Japanese one? It's something like um, uh, Tatsu no Mirai. But in English, Yuri, that helps us very. It's, it's basically the same thing. Oh, because usually oh. The, the translated Japanese version is helps us. Um, the other future. The other future. Oh, it's it's the future past, just like Fire Emblem. It's the same thing. We've done it. Yeah. Oh yeah, remember they? I I believe was it Yoshida? Wasn't it also Koji Fox that hinted at something with La Habrea at some point as well? I remember some was either fan fest or an interview where where he said something about La Habrea that they that the, he might he might make a return in some way. Yeah, because there was a time when people asked him what's La Habrea's real name, and then he said he wasn't going to say. So, yeah. presumably he was teasing <clears> the <throat> fact that we would find out at some point. Yeah. Okay, well, um, let's get back to the actual um, website. Early December 2020, um, here's Sounds the good. Yeah, new story. Futures rewritten. It starts with a picture of Alfino and Alice. Also, the end of patch 5.3 is sort of already implying that there's going to be a lot more focus on the twins. Because she's like, oh, mm -hmm. we had no like character development <laughs> in this patch is essentially yes. what she's saying and he's like well our time will come and this is probably it um futures rewritten with elidibus defeated and the fate of the first secured the scions make their long-awaited return to the source but in the new future they now look toward uh, sorry but in the new future they now sorry <laughs> fuck <laughs> but in the new future they now look towards uh will that which is written upon the pages of history be an anthem of hope or a dirge of despair. The dirge of Cerberus tie in. Don't you? I know. How dare you speak its name? Um, <laughs> so there's a picture cool. of the twins. Alice says, "Like, oh, it's in Limsa." So I'm assuming it's our uh, our little kobold, uh, Gabu, maybe related, because that's sort of a theme with uh, that uh, Elidibus brought up. It's the the primal possession thing. That is also a theme mm -hmm. that they've brought up now. So I'm assuming that's with oh God, dog, little dog, woman thing. They're genderless, aren't they? The um... little dog woman. <laughs> oh, the <laughs> God. You know the Ooh, one that helped yeah. with the the oh Nemo. The Nemo. Okay. Uh, the because yeah, you know what I mean. I, just, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I was thrown off for a yeah, second. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, and then there's a sh this shot that we've seen before of um, mm -hmm. the Von. Still very confusing. What, what's going on here? <sighs> Lots of focus very on weird. Heaven's Word. Um, Remember Heaven's Word. Remember Heaven's Word. Um, hmm. That is still a bit. I don't. I don't quite get the link. Could it? If they bring back, like, fucking Nidhogg's eyes. <laughs> I don't think so. We saw <laughs> Sinian crush them. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. He did crush them. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, 5.4 Raid Dungeon Eden's Promise. Reen and her mysterious counterpart, Gaia, have succeeded in restoring balance to the elements of the empty. Much of the credit goes to the Warrior of Light, whom they invite to observe whether life continues to flourish in the once barren desert. Uh, while the flame of hope burns brighter than ever, the tale is far from over. Gaia's character but, design, Tsuya Nomura. But it mm. is over. This is the end. This is the end of the Raid series. Yeah. Well, the flame well, of hope right now is burning brighter than ever, but the tale is not yet over for us. Will may be. Maybe it also means because Gaia's joining the crew. That's why, mm. That's the MSQ mm. twist. Oh, I'd, be, I'd be okay with that. We'll, we'll have lips... And this, girl. This will be how. Yeah, we'll get girl and lips in <laughs> on the source. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, no hint she's as to what we we can expect. She's staring at a little crystal thing. That just Ooh. that is just the chicken uh, nugget theme for, uh, <laughs> meme for me right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's her staring at a tiny, tiny god, crystal. She has big eyes. Oh my god. God, she's got big lips. Everything about. Yeah, I was going to say everything about her face is quite large. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, what is the is that? Mm, blight orosite? Maybe. We ha we haven't maybe seen she anything. Ate it. She ate it. I don't know. Maybe that's how she communicates with the fairy. Maybe the fairy. Maybe the fairy is like a uh, Asian that is trapped inside some orosite. Are you saying that she's made a poopy? And she's like, no, I pooped I'm not. This actually, out, I'm, and I can't hear my I'm fairy not, anymore. <laughs> I'm definitely not saying that. I don't know why you went there. You know, actually, big I know lips, exactly why you went there. Big lips, big turds. That's what I always say. No. <laughs> Oh, sorry, no. sorry, this is the podcast. Okay, I see. <laughs> you are going off the rails today. <laughs> okay, anyways, sorry. Um, uh, anyways, Matoya, let's move on. There's not much else to say. We have no idea who the bosses are. We'll know next week when we cover the live letter. That's when yes. it'll be probably revealed. Um uh, okay, patch f five. Sorry, I keep reading the small headline. <laughs> the new dungeon, Matoya's Relict. Um, the Maker's Quarter was once home t to some of the finest crafters Aorcia had ever seen, but it has lain in a forgotten ruin since the Charlian's Exodus. It is there, hidden amidst overgrown foliage, that the entrance to the former workshop of the Archon Matoya can be found. Um, well, so here are cool. some in game screenshots of this dungeon now mm -hmm. uh, i mean this exactly. further almost confirms to me that that is that's the boss that cauldron or at least tied to the boss in in some way because in the artwork it has like yes. it's like lit and shit so um this is a cool looking arena though i will say mm -hmm. even in game it, the, I mean, the artwork was cool, but this is also pretty cool. I, I'd say they did a good job at bringing the artwork to life in game. Yes. Um, here's this is cute. a boss, a little guy. blob. Yeah, it's very cute. Um, in some Charlian looking ruins. Mm. Why yes. Is, why is the healer wearing Don Meg? Mm. I don't know. Oopra. I is... hmm. I suspect that this is the dungeon armor for this patch. Possible, yeah, yeah. But would it really just be risking Don Meg here? No, they don't care what. What do you mean no? They don't really care about what uh, uh, armor they put in the dungeons, Rollo. <clears throat> they they're no longer like tied to the dungeon. They're not themed. Uh, unless no, they're not themed, and like. Unless they're doing like a gear, they're giving us gear design armor. They very rarely put nice armor in dungeons, or at yeah, least well, patch dungeons. Patch dungeons, yes. Um, hmm. Yes. So that's interesting. Cool. Looking forward to that. Um, Still wondering how it t ties into the MSQ. Yeah. The former workshop be... of the Archon Matoya. Do you think we'll be going to Charlayan in? 6.0. Will Charlayan be the city state of mm. 6.0? Well, that would be a, a good idea. Um, I depends. I mean, we we don't. I mean, I don't know how the the story turns towards Charlayan yet, but they might make that like the big city state. Yeah, it, mm. the might. Yeah, they might. Uh, you could argue what what role Kagane had in the Stormblood storyline. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, but I mean, this could be this could be the big turn, like towards. I mean, we know that five point four, four sorry, <laughs> five point four is the big turn. This is we're yes. done with Sh Shadowbringers. We're turning towards the expansion now. So I mean, yes. these are the first few signs of where we're going is showing. So I mean, yeah. Right now, actually, all we have really is Charlian. Yeah, I mean, Heavensward is close. It's like up north as well, so it will be the closest city state to Charlian that we have. So yes. Hmm. Yeah, we might be going to Charlian. Charlian. I hope they also have really horrible bagpipe music. Mm, oh yes, that for sure. Um, we can still get Thamnir. Thamnir might be just a tiny, like 
nothing. I was hoping that Rad's at Hands would be the city state we were going to, but if we're going to Charlay and instead that's I'm a hundred percent fine with that. Yeah. Uh uh The Sorrow of Warlit is also being added in this patch. Uh Gaius and the Warrior of Light are another step closer to thwarting the Empire's War Machina development project after vanquishing the Sapphire weapon. However, newly unearthed information alludes to another foe lurking in the shadows, and you must take decisive action before it's too late. We already know where we're going thanks to this list. Um, uh, there you go. No, no, no. no that's not that one. Where's the castrum? Castrum. Castrum Marinium. Marinum. Um, Marinum. Marinara. <laughs> Castor Marinara. Marinara. New trial, Castor Marinum, which is the Castrum at Cape Westwind. Yes. So. Uh, very, very far away from where we are right now. <laughs> yes, it is. So I wonder why. I mean, it's on the coast of Thanalan. Mm. On the eastern coast, even, right? So. Yes. Well, the south end of the continent. South. Oh yeah, sorry, it's by Vesper Bay, isn't it? Um, I guess. Hmm. I don't know. I don't. It's on the west. It is also on the western is... side. Yes. Yeah. Chad is correct. It is on the western side of the continent. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yes. I don't remember the map of Eorzea very well. Vesper Bay is south. <laughs> It is south. It's southwest. Oh yeah, southwest. Yes, it's south it's of across, Western Thanalan. It's it? across the strait from um, Vilbrand. Yeah, I don't know what across. Eorzea looks like. Um, mm. Okay. Um, right. Um, what? Uh, that's cool. We getting we're getting our difficult Westwind battle. Mm. We're gonna get some remix retardan um, mechanics, apparently. Oh, Who would have God. thought? Mm. Who would have thought we would have gone from nail to regular to retardan? Mm. <laughs> he got tired of being bullied. He's like, I, "That's it. Yeah, I'm gonna fire yeah. my cannons up in the air, but bigger." I mean, he has no real choice in this. He is dead. You don't know that. Hmm. It would be the one of the weirdest characters to bring back if he was actually not dead. I mean, he's a big guy. He can the, get sorted out. There's no mention of what the new Unreal trial is. I I know everyone's no. eager to know what that is. Um, explorer mode? Oh, that's the uh, that's the uh, that's... dungeon po yes. post thing. Um, what are the new game plus updates? What are they adding that we'll be allowed to go revisit again? More class quests? More job quests? Tune in to the live letter to know more. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and the next Save the Queen uh, chapter is called Pass to Rest. Yes. Which I don't know what that means. No. A very grim state in the current. Um, and big, big, big boss just off, huh? Huh? Very, I'm saying it ended on a very sour note, so... Okay. Oh, yes, it did. That is true. Yeah, 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 that's true. A... We, will be, we will be going to Delubrum Regine, wherever that is. Yeah. Okay. Don't have enough information about that. Nope. Um, that is uh, all we know so far of patch 5.4. Uh, will... No more on Friday when uh, the um, live letter takes place. Um, mm -hmm. Very exciting. Um, that's that. That's the show. I don't think we have time for Mogmail, unfortunately. Uh, we have. No, I don't think so. A is bit there a of short one, maybe? Okay, we can do a short. May, uh, is there a short one? There is a short one. Yeah, the first one is short. Okay, and that's the one we we started doing last time. So yeah. let's let's do that. Let's 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 cram in a quick mog mail. This one's from Genova T 
Tia. Is this correct? Yes, Genova Tia from Twintanya. Yes, Hello, yes. speakers. Love you all. Question. What do you make of the mountain north of Azim Step? It's featured pretty heavily in the maps, and it has some MSQ uh, relevance uh, during our trip with Yashtola, basically hiding an elegant conspiracy. Do you suppose we return to the step now that we have made some good uh, Godhood connections? Sorry, God. Godhood. <laughs> Goodhood. <laughs> Godhood <laughs> connections with love, Genova. I, I read it. I read it. I read the first part in Norwegian. God in Norwegian is good. Mm. Uh, okay. Um, what? I uh, don't really see us going back there anytime soon. Um. No. Because the the main thing was of intrigue was the Algan connection, really. Mm. And I guess now the Azim part is. Like a kind of a general thing too, but it it's still just mostly elegant stuff there. Yeah, like yeah. It's more the the, the legend. Oh god, I'm how wrong. things got there. I yeah, know, it was Zim's finger or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's it'd be nice. I don't know. Unless I, I, those, I wouldn't mind seeing that characters. Either. Unless we were to make another turn towards the Allegan anytime soon, I just don't see why it would be relevant, sadly. I also, the the mountain itself, I don't know enough about it to, like... It's the like crooked coin. Crooked coin. The Crooked Coin is yeah. the name of the... the What's the cave? The, That's the cave. The, cave. The, the, the mountain itself has a name, but I don't even remember what it is, sadly. Um... Sky Piercer? Is that the name of the mountain? House of Coins? House of Coin is the name of the oh, yeah, that's cave, not... I think. No, that... Whoa. What's Crooked Coin, then? That's also a thing. Where did I get that from? Oh, yeah, <laughs> but where is it from? Oh, Crooked Coin is the cave. Yeah. House of the Crooked Coin. House of the Crooked Coin. There we go. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, right. Well, um, I, I don't know. <laughs> dead air. Dead air. I, I, I would like it if we could get back there. Less do with Alagan stuff, please. Um, just maybe there might be more twelve related thing over there with the Zim specifically. But I'm, I'm very getting a little Alagan wary, you know. Mm. <laughs> um, what? Uh, that's, uh, Pachan has made, made me consider the, that is the Azim step. It could be relevant if we are to further investigate our history as Azim. That's true. That's true. I don't know if it's necessarily related to the mountain, though. No. I don't know. I think they just needed a convenient cave to hide some elegant stuff in. I think that's mm -hmm. that's what that mountain is for. Right, that's the end of the show. Thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to stay tuned for the post-show. We'll be reading questions from the Syndicate, and if you haven't watched it uh, already, if you're not a patron, uh, Soar will premiere uh, as well at the end of the show. Um, thanks for watching. Remember to follow at speaker 6 heavy on Twitter, twitch.tv slash speakersavidal, and youtube.com slash speaker 6 heavy exclamation Discord in chat if you want to join our Discord server, if you're watching live, if you're watching on demand, links in the description. Uh, remember, uh, we have an ongoing survey uh, if you want to um, help us uh, plan ahead for the channel, uh, please fill that out as well. Um, you can find the link in the description if you're watching live and if you're watching, sorry, if you're watching in, uh, on demand, if you're watching live, uh, exclamation survey. Um, it's also pinned, actually, it's in our announcement channel. Uh, on our discord as well make sure you join our discord as well by the way i think i already said that okay that's the end see you on the poster if you're watching live goodbye